Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Duckman with Trading Advantage, your morning market stir for Tuesday, October 1st. Got to remind yourself, volatility is opportunity. Markets had a big hit yesterday, down three quarters of a point on the open on Sunday night, and actually ended up closing unchanged on the day from that level. 1674 and a half down 12 was the close. The high was 1681, low 1666 and three quarters. So the gap down ended up being there at the close. It didn't get any worse. Dow ended up being down 149, 15,046. The Nasdaq held up pretty well, only down 0.3% on the session, down 14 points, 3209. It was up 10% for the quarter. So in that last three months, we've really seen a run in that Nasdaq. Uh, the dollar index was down 58032. Euro currency was up 6, 135.27. New relative highs were pushing highs again, 135.59 yesterday. Got to get back above the 135.80 level and then 136. A push above 136 technically targets 140 in the euro currency. Bonds, the big story yesterday was in bonds. Bonds did not move up at all with all this uncertainty and all this volatility. Bonds were actually down on the day, 133.25. So that's a very telling tale right there, looking at the bond market, no flight to quality. Crude market down 50 cents yesterday, 102.33. New relative lows at 101. We've been above $100 a barrel on a closing basis since uh, 4th of July. So we did get close to that yesterday. And gold, no flight there either. Gold was down $12 at 1327. So after that gap open and that hit yesterday, where did the market stand on this Tuesday morning to start a new trading day with the government officially uh, shut down? Well, right now we're positive. We're up seven and three quarters points in the E-mini S&P at 1682. We're up half a percent across the board in the stock indexes, up 56, 15,102. The Nasdaq's up 13 and a half at 32, 22 and a half. Got to remember the highs recently are 32.48. So we're within striking distance of those decade plus highs in the Nasdaq, even with all this nonsense. Big deal today is the dollar. The dollar's below 80 or was below 80. The low so far today, 79.95. Right now we're at 80.15 down 17. This is the lowest level the dollar's been since February. So that could be supportive to a lot of asset classes with that weaker dollar. Euro currency is higher, 135.79. Uh, 130, I'm 135.79 was the high so far in this session. 135.47 is where we stand right now, up 15 points. And again, bonds are down, down 15 points, 132.28. Right now, the yield on the 30-year is 3.71. Uh, yield on the 10-year notes at 2.65. So no emergency flight to quality, no scramble there to get into treasuries. And crude oil is up 15 cents, 102.50, holding back above that 102 level that we've talked about as a, as a support to keep an eye on on a, on a daily and a weekly basis in crude oil. And lastly, gold. Gold's up a couple bucks here, up $5 at 13.32, stable and steady. So to wrap up the current action with two hours to go for the cash stock market open, we're positive. We're up a half a percent across the board in the E-mini stock indexes, up seven and three quarters in the E-mini S&P at 1682 and up 56 at 15,102 in the Dow futures. I will see you early Wednesday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group where it all comes back to commodities.